Today's video is brought to us by Vulcan Arms. Vulcan Arms makes cleaning kits and pistol mounts that you can use in your vehicle or anywhere, but I like them for their weather lock bags and the technology that's in these. This is their AR-15 weather lock bag and you need to check these things out. Vulcan's weather lock technology is revolutionizing the way we store firearms. The Vulcan weather lock gun bag has one of a kind technology that resists the natural elements. Whether you're on a trip, at the range, or working out in the field, the weather lock series can stand up to the toughest environments. And just look how well built this zipper is. The bag is extremely light yet totally water resistant, has all kinds of molly on the front, and if you turn it over, it has a grab handles and D-rings. This thing is pretty cool. This is a two AR, two gun bag, uh, and I'm very, very impressed. For more information on their Weatherlock bags, their cleaning kits, and their mounting options, head over to VulcanArms.com. Thanks to Vulcan Arms for sponsoring this channel. You might be hearing that thunder rolling in in the background. I'm sorry, today's just gonna be a uh, stormy day here in New England. And while we're in New England, let's talk about the next state to codify, to put into law an unconstitutional violation against the Second Amendment, even following the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin case in which the Supreme Court said, you cannot require that law-abiding citizens show justifiable need or good cause or whatever the states have called it in order to obtain a state concealed carry permit. Well, Massachusetts, the place where freedom friggin' began but no longer resides, just codified a challenge to the Supreme Court. In this state, we've had a thing called suitability. If you were not found to be federally prohibited for any reason, because this state hates, hates freedom so much, they still let the individual chiefs of police, the licensing agents, gave them a little, little leeway, some discretion to say, I don't think that person's suitable. And they called it suitability. Well, chiefs have used it if somebody has uh, maybe a questionable Facebook presence or they're known to be kind of off the wall maybe, chiefs can say they're not suitable and either deny a license to carry or even revoke an already issued license to carry. Mind you, the person is not federally prohibited, just the way the state can say, eh, we don't think you should have this right because this is where the king lies. Well, after New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin came down, this state, our Attorney General who's running for governor, Mara Healey, she sucks, and our outgoing Rhino Governor, Charlie Baker, he sucks, just taller than Mara Healey. Same person, one's like 6'6", the other one's like 4'6". Uh, and they were in lockstep. Nothing changes our laws here in Massachusetts. I jumped on them. Goal, the Gun Owners Action League here in Massachusetts, jumped on them. And they changed a couple things. What did they change? Well, in this bill that was just signed into law Tuesday by our governor, uh, they changed things like, uh, you know, we're gonna get rid of all of the requirements for, uh, or, or possible restrictions in this state. You know, like no more restrictions. Oh, and we're gonna be a shall issue state now. But what they did on the backside is they codified, wrote into law, suitability. So the exact thing that the Supreme Court says you cannot have Massachusetts said, you know what? We're gonna write into the law. And our governor, he's a giant ass clown. He wrote, it, he signed the bill uh, Tuesday. It is now law in Massachusetts. Now, some people will say, yeah, it's a victory because they really wanted to reduce our license, the concealed carry permit, uh, this, the LTC in Massachusetts. They wanted to make it a six year license, from a six year license and chop it down to three years. Basically, double in the cost, right? Because you gotta pay that $100 twice as much. And they, the state says they got rid of discretion, but they codified suitability, which is discretion. Now, every politician in Massachusetts will tell you, if you ask them, and in fact, you don't even have to ask them, they'll just tell you, that Massachusetts has some of the toughest gun laws in the country. So much so that a lot of the federal laws are copies of Massachusetts or California law. Like, Massachusetts and California are always in a uh, a fight, a race to see who can restrict or who can violate or who can infringe the hardest. Uh, and uh, this is no different. So Massachusetts politicians will say, we have the toughest gun laws. But what they won't say is that Massachusetts has the most violent crime in all of New England. That was close. 
Um, so they won't say, they won't tell you, they won't acknowledge that it's the most violent state in all of New England while still having the most restrictions. Sounds like Chicago. But here in New England, we have three states that are constitutional carry, Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. And guess where they are as far as violent crime? They're at the bottom. They're the three safest states in New England. Correlation? You think? I do. So Tuesday it was signed into law, a challenge to the Supreme Court. My hope is that Gun Owners Action League or any other group in this country right now is salivating and ready to sue Massachusetts. The lawsuit should have been filed Tuesday, and if you ask me. And uh, I'm hoping that Jim Wallace and, and the fellows over at Goal uh, get this going. And if they don't, then somebody else needs to because states shall not infringe. They can't do this shit, yet they still do this shit. And they are far too often, you know, left alone. And they need to be attacked immediately and, and in large amounts and en mass. I wish, perfect world, this will never happen, but I wish all the groups, Goal, Gun Owners of America, FPC, SAF, NAGR, NRA, ABCD, EFG, I wish they would all team up as a conglomerate pool all their resources, and start kicking ass. And I know that it, it won't happen because each group does something different. Some lobby, some sue. Perfect world, that's my wish. Let me know down below. Do you have the same dream I do? You know, I wake up every day and say, man, today's, it, it's not happening. I wish they would all team up just to, just to see how good we could be. But uh, this state is challenging the Supreme Court. My hope is that there's a lawsuit immediately to follow and uh, it gets done immediately because it's a violation of Bruin and it's a, uh, a thumbing of the nose. They dug in their heels. Now let's see what they're gonna do, what people are gonna do about it. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. And on days like this, where it's thundering and lightning, I'm actually gonna use this. It's a weatherproof case from Vulcan Arms.